Hey everybody and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Amanda and I are gearing up for another great event weekend uh, through the 4th with Squad Room. But I want to give a shout out uh, for some upcoming events in the Southeast that uh, I'm hoping we're going to be able to get to. So stick around, let's take a look at them. Okay, guys, before we get to the uh, shows, contests, swap meets, I want to share with you a shop card I got this week. This is from Neiman over at Captain Nemo Model Zone. If you hadn't checked out his channel, be sure to go over there and do that. In one of his last videos, uh, he did a stash update, and he had the Midnight Cowboy, that custom Chevy pickup, and I'd forgotten about that thing, but really cool, really cool. Uh, but again, go over, give him a sub, check him out. And we thank you for that. And let's get over to these shows, contests, and swap meets. This one I apologize for in advance. This is one of those that I just let slip up on me. And I just kind of, uh, it's last minute because it's next weekend, July 9th, in uh, Havelock, North Carolina, which is just outside of Newburn, North Carolina. The Eastern Carolina Plastic Modelers put this show on. I've been to, uh, I think, two or three of their shows over the years and they always do a class show. They have had to move a couple of times over the years to larger venues simply because the show has grown and continues to grow. And it also, the vendors have been sold out for a while according to the, to the website. They've got a waiting list on vendors. So there's always some really great stuff there. But this is Down East Con, and you see the website right here. Uh, it's Eastern Carolina Plastic Modelers dot com. Uh, Down East Con is, or you can go to the uh, IPMS website and look it up that way too. But like I said, these guys always put on a really class show, and vendors, great stuff. If you're in uh, within driving distance, Newburn, North Carolina is a really cool place. It's, it's not too far off the Outer Banks, and there are places there. Pepsi Cola was founded there. In fact, the drugstore downtown Newburn still is the only place, if I understood it correctly, that you can still get the original, original formula, which was designed originally in the drugstore to be an elixir for upset stomachs. So, <laughs> uh, but you can check it out. Great history downtown. And let me tell you, it's a beautiful little city. And there are uh, some great, great restaurants downtown. I've checked out several of them over the years. Um, also, there in Newburn, there's a place called Tryon Palace, which was the mansion that the uh, British governor stayed in during the, the Revolutionary War, or prior to. Um, but Tryon Palace is still there. They've kept it very original and uh, beautiful place to visit. Historic landmark there. But there's plenty to do in that area. Uh, if you can make a weekend of it, uh, it's right there, like I said, on the coast, and a beautiful place. But go over to their website, check out Newburn. But definitely, if you can make the show, uh, again, I'm sorry for letting this one slip up on me last minute, but definitely make that one because there's great vendors, and it's always a class show. Uh, next up is one of those that I I never want to miss this one. Um, this is from the Carolina Custom Modelers in uh, Clemens, North Carolina, which is just outside, I think it's kind of southwestish from Winston-Salem, so center of North Carolina, so it's an easy drive from Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Eastern Tennessee, I know some guys from Georgia that always come up, Kentucky, so there's usually five or six states represented at this show. It's their Summer Classic NNL, and this is August the 20th, of this year, so uh, mark your calendar for that. It's at the Village Inn in Clemens, North Carolina, and they have a block of rooms set aside for the modelers at a special rate. And this year it is hosted by Wes's Model Car Corner. So he's the sponsor for this show. Uh, if you don't know Wes, head over to his Facebook page or over to his website. Great shop there, great shop. Uh, this year's theme, I think I had mentioned in one or two of the other videos, is flatheads. And I'm going to try to build an engine to display a uh, flathead, and that's going to be in our next video, too. We're going to be starting this thing to knock out. I've really been looking forward to this. I should have had it done way before now, but um, squad room's kind of gotten in the way. But that's okay. That's okay. Um, that's, that's 
as most things in life, it happens. But uh, a great, great show of all of the shows. If I could only go to, let's say, two or three shows a year, this would be one of them. And, of course, Atlanta. And, and it, But this is worth the drive. It's an absolutely awesome show. The Carolina Custom guys do an awesome job putting it on, and it, it's a class act. And next up is... Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, October 1st. Uh, this is BeachCon 22. It's an IPMS show. I have never been to this one. Uh, I don't know if this is their first show or not. I really don't. I haven't been really researched it. Uh, just got this um, downloaded uh, a couple of weeks ago. But the Grand Strand Scale Modelers and the Coastal Carolina Scale Modelers uh, are putting this on together. There's over 50 categories, as you see here. Um, the Special Theme Award is Best at the beach um, and you can go to their website and get the rules for all of that kind of stuff and um, but just or you can go to IPMS's website and uh, just pull up this and it'll go right to their website and if you want contact information for vendors I'll hold this up here so you can see it a minute you can pause the video if you need to and then Grand uh, well, there's the website right there, GrandStrandScaleModelers.org. And uh, they are, again, an IPMS chapter. We've got junior categories, um, non-contestants, contestants, special awards, vendor tables, uh, and I don't know if any of them are still available, uh, on-site food, and, of course, a raffle. But... I'm going to try to go to this one. We, we usually do a fall beach run to Myrtle Beach, and um, October 1st is right about that time, so we may try to, to hit that one too. Next up is the South Carolina Modelers Association's Charleston Show. Uh, you know, I covered their show in Spartanburg as well as the one in Simpsonville, South Carolina, and they have these shows all around the state. Great bunch of guys. And this Charleston show, I believe Matt at uh, Model Car Videos, the very first contest he ever went to was this uh, Charleston show last year. And I, I'm pretty sure I heard him say he was definitely going to make it again this year. But they have three themes this year. One of them is What a Wreck. So you've got Wrecked Anything. You've got Sci-Fi. And Pride of South Carolina. South Carolina uh, Subjects. So, uh, and of course, you see they have the world's greatest hot dogs. <laughs> um, and, and if you're like me, hot dogs are a big thing. This, again, is October 22nd, and um, it's always very well done, a really great show. Um, Amanda and I have been to this one more times than I can, can count. We didn't make it last year, but... Um, this year, the plan, we've already got plans, so hopefully we'll make a weekend of it in Charleston. Great talk about history, of course. You've got uh, Patriots Point, uh, the USS Yorktown. You've got uh, uh, Fort Sumter, where the Civil War began. You get it's just tons of history in uh, downtown Charleston there, too. So great stuff, great stuff. And then... We have the Southern Nationals in Atlanta, put on by the Atlanta Car Modeler Enthusiast, uh, Acme. And this one is uh, November 5th, uh, the same place it's been for, I know, 20 years. And you've got the theme of Radwood, and you can go to their website, and there's a little explanation right there. Uh, Radwood is featuring cars from the 1980s and 90s, and it's a tribute to the uh, Goodwood Vintage Vehicle event. Uh, I think that's out in California, but something uh, just called Rad. Uh, one of the sub-themes is Vintage NASCAR, and another sub-theme is Where Were You in 62? So any vehicle from 1962. But uh, you can go to their website. You can download uh, one of the flyers and uh, get your information. These guys also have a host hotel that has a block of rooms set aside. Um, and there's a lot of hotels right around that, that uh, venue as well that you can find. But they have a special rate as well. These guys have been doing this for so long. They have set a standard on this is how you need to do a show, guys. These guys are, are really top-notch. Uh, but 
go to their Facebook page or um, there's the Acme Atlanta Car Modeler Enthusiast dash IPMS dot com and you can go to their website but these guys like I said set the standard great stuff a little look into the future into 2023 if you remember the uh, the swap meet in uh, Salisbury North Carolina that we went to and uh, did a video on uh, this past year February 18th mark your calendar 2023 this is not a contest it is strictly a swap meet and let me tell you guys, that gym, that area is packed. That place is full. Um, so uh, make your plans now. It's nothing but ven vendors and all model car stuff. And this stuff is awesome. Well, there's a little bit of military there. But for the most part, if it's aftermarket decals, uh, resin, 3D printed, you're going to find it here. This is, th this is a good one really really is and you see some info down there if you have questions or uh, want to be a uh, vendor uh, Alan Hilton Alan as as runs a class act there too really good 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 show and then the last brochure that I have in hand anyway and this one is for March 4th um, of this year or excuse me next year um, and it is the MDA club out of uh, Roanoke, Virginia. These guys have been at it a long time, too. And the theme is Big Daddy Ed Roth. Check it out. Um, but this one I look forward to as well. Uh, March 4th, 2023. Uh, for more information, go on over to, the, uh, to their website, you see that there, mdamodelcar.com. Well, if I can get it in frame. Um, in Roanoke, Virginia. And this is always a really, really, really awesome show, too. Um, and that covers what I've got right now, guys. And thanks for sticking around. And by the way, if any of you guys have any other ones in the Southeast that I did not list here, or maybe, hey, maybe I don't know about them. Hey, let me know. Let me know. I love going to these things. I love covering them. I go to shows every now and then. Don't even take a car just for the fellowship and the shopping. So, hey, if I don't know about it and if I didn't mention it, be sure to, to put it in the comments section down below. And, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support more than you know. And... If you hadn't subscribed, please do. It helps grow the hobby. It helps the channel, of course. But anytime you visit anyone's channel, and I'm, I'm beating the dead horse with this over and over, but, you know, give them a sub. Give them a thumbs up. It really helps out. It, it bumps that algorithm that uh, YouTube uses to put more videos of, of everybody out there. And uh, when we really do appreciate it. If you haven't visited the Teespring store, head on over and do that too. Well, guys, till next time, we're going to be working on a flathead. Love you, mean it. I'll talk at you later. God bless, guys.